Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So, meanwhile in Mount Sierra, while black people are so far drifted away from their foremothers and forefathers that made strides in changing our people in terms of legislation, and you understand, and, and we somewhere twerking and at Freaknicks and so on and so forth, throwing money in a club, this is what the white man is doing. All right, they planning on why you being a damn destroyed, a uh, ignorant adult. They working on and putting things in place to further ensure that your children are just as ignorant or even more ignorant than your ass. Right. Right. Aware that this new version of the bill from the Senate removes the writings of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Are you aware that this new version of the bill? from the Senate removes the history of Native Americans? The way the bill is laid out, That's a yes because or no question, we are very so clear are you that we could not be conclusive of the bill about every single document the out there that we Native could, I'm, I'm going to give you an answer. You're not, this isn't a trial. I'm going to give you an answer. Okay, I'm ready for the answer. The way it's set out is so that a teacher can go to different documents and different authors by which to teach from. It's by no means meant to be a conclusive list. Let me just ask you one more time. Are you aware that this new version of the bill from the Senate removes the history of Native Americans? It's on page three of the side-by-side -side if you don't have it in front of you. It, then it, I believe you. Okay. Are you aware that this new version of the bill removes mentions of Cesar Chavez? Yes. Are you aware that this new version of the bill removes mentions of Susan B. Anthony? Yes, I am. Um, Yet the new version of the bill from the Senate, this is not the bill we all passed as a House, but the Senate's version, it still includes the writings of Alexis de Tocqueville, and he's not even an American. Damn. Could that be because he's a white man? Mm -hmm. Where the Damn. All right. So, uh, get Psalms 94, verse 20. Psalms chapter 94, verse 20. Let's yeah. start there. All right. Go ahead. The book of Psalms. Chapter 94 and verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? Which do what? Frameth mischief by a law. So the throne of iniquity. Don't get it twisted. All right? Even though they say that this is a Christian nation or whatever, it was founded in the name of G-O-D. Gold, oil, and drugs. Right. right. <laughs> That's the most high guy. Sheesh. You understand? Mm -hmm. So they raped, robbed, murdered, colonized, pillaged, and enslaved groups of people, which just so happened to be God's people, right. in Damn. order to establish this place as their country, known today as America. This is the throne of iniquity. <laughs> what worst sins can you do? Outside of rape, robbing, and murdering, God's chose the apple of God's eye. Mm. Right. Yeah. That's the throne of iniquity. That's God right. God says the throne of iniquity frames mischief by a law. So they have power in their hand, you understand, to create and enforce laws to continue the oppression and indoctrination of the people that they enslaved. Basically, through laws, they're able to perpetuate slavery on the, the mental and educational spectrum. You understand? Right. And that's what God let us know. You open the Bible, you see that. Mm -hmm. Now, give me Isaiah 29, verse 15. Let's read that real quick. All right? Because they try to sneak these things in there. Thanks. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The Most High got his way of bringing things out. Read that real quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 15. Well, yeah. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. So they seek deep to, to hide their counsel from the Lord. You understand? And here's the thing. You know how the Psalms 83 is saved against thy hidden ones. That's the whole purpose of them coming together and consulting to make laws to erase our history from the history books. You right. understand? Right. Because you can keep our identity hidden. Hmm. You understand? Because think about it. Think about how we wake up to the, like, we wake up to the truth of who we are and we able to dig deep before they make the prices go super steep and just make stuff disappear. We eventually, like, We've been able to scrape different books and resources and documents that prove along with the Bible that we're the Israelites the Bible speak of. Right. right. But we can't we didn't come in mm-hmm. from no white man book in a library on page three sixty three, the highlighted sentence of Jews in Africa. No, we came in from Deuteronomy twenty eight. That's right. Meaning, That's right. We read Deuteronomy 28, and from the history that we were able to learn growing up, that we accumulated through reading Rainbow and some of the history in the history books, right? Mm-hmm. We were able to put two and two together. Wait, sons and daughters given to another people. That's us! We need to begin with ships. Message. Out of all the history I read, the only people I saw on slave ships was my people. That's, That's us. That's right! So, damn, we did all this hiding and all this erasing. We got a whole vision established, a whole people in that land with that identity, and they still waking up based off of that. Oh, no, we just got to take the whole damn, throw the whole history away. Yep. Throw the whole slavery, the Jim Crow, the, whatever you can, purge it out. Hey, you're you're my brother. That's all you ever were. Sheesh. You're just a little inferior mentally and whatever. The, that's damn. why you're below me. You know what I'm saying? You Unfortunately, you're not as intelligent as I am. That's the only reason. But you're, you're getting there, pal. And if anyone tries to unveil the history <laughs> that we hear, they're a hate group. Exactly. Wow. They're hate. Don't listen to them. They're going to control the media, control the narrative, and make sure that you don't listen to those people that's unveiling those secrets. Message. Exactly. You you finna say something else? Yes, sir. Let me get the script real go quick. Go ahead. Hey, go to Psalms uh, 64. Read verse 8. So what we just witness is them telling on themselves. This is the thing we just witnessed right here. So read that for me. The book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 8. Come on. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Uh-huh. All that see them shall flee away. This is what we're seeing right here. That this man revealed it and he had to hell a dude. Because the dude was trying to be deceitful and not tell the truth. But the truth was going to be revealed according to the Bible. They was going to tell what they were doing. The secrets. And a lot, and it's the thing. We don't watch these things. That's why Let's Talk Truth and radio shows just like this, we have to reveal it. Because a normal Negro won't watch this and search and see. Wait, they tell it on themselves. They show you. They put you in slavery. They did this. They did that because they want you on the bottom. That's and it's right. all because they want their race to be magnified above us and even above God. You know, a racing get only matters now, especially because the Israelites, us, we're teaching what we teach. Oh, yeah, fact. Now they have to erase everything because it ties back to this book. Mm -hmm. And And think about it, too. We're going to get into it later. But I just want y'all to really think about, I'm I'm finna go mini miniature Bishop Yawasop real quick. I'm trying to put a little butt on the, the butt business. Butt on yeah. the business. <laughs> yeah, bear with me because I, I'm not able to quite articulate myself with such wisdom as the elder, obviously. But I want y'all to think about the psychological intention of labeling groups like us as black identity extremists. Mm-hmm. What they, what I want y'all to think about that. What they saying it because all we making claim to because in the Bible it says that this people is scattered. Right. You understand? They're they're everywhere. You understand? And they fit, you know, the the, the people of the book. Right. right. What they saying is for us, 
to think, to have an idea or a belief that we're that significant, that we could be chosen, that we could be special, that we could be above our people, just in a spiritual sense. That's extreme. Come on now, you're being extreme. Hey, Cap, they, that's a bit extreme, nigga. You wear your pants down they, all the time. They said that's ethnic you, idolatry. Your Damn. women clap their ass cheeks just, just for the hell of it. Come yeah. on now, that's a bit extreme to call yourself a prince that has power with God. Damn. You understand? Yeah. And our people take that and run with it. Like, yeah, our people are right, stupid man. as hell. Right, it man. is a bit extreme. Right. We you just like, from Africa. We just yeah, the, they're crazy. Yeah, the, the sandal <laughs> necklace. Give me that, and I don't even know what that means. You understand? Right. I'm telling you, bro. Like, uh, sheesh. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 